Billy's sick today. I got a little project today that I'm going to share with you. Uh, I've got some chairs for reupholstery, but before I reupholster them, I'm going to show you a little trick that you can use to uh, firm up the seats on these Parsons chairs. It's pretty common for these chairs to break down pretty easily in the foam on the seats, and if they have this rubber webbing in there, uh, that gets a little stretched out pretty quick too. So uh, now the rubber webbing is not necessarily stretched out that much on these chairs right you know it's still in decent shape but the foam is broke down so when you sit on it you feel like you're sitting into a little hole i'm going to show you how you can fix that problem at home with a few things that you may have around your house let's get with it okay you can see here that this rubber webbing they put a sufficient amount in here uh, it's not the thickest type webbing. Uh, a lot of the stuff I use is uh, uh, thicker, more suited for seats. This one feels like it's more suited for backs or something, but but it's still a, a, a rubber webbing that's been a lot put to it. But uh, currently this seat, you know, is sagging in. So what we're gonna do is on, on these ones that have, you know, this big cavity here, we can make this seat Feel like it's got a spring unit in it and I'll show you how. At this point, you're going to want to know how much void you're going to put in here. Um, I highly recommend you use a, a, uh, a medium to firm foam in here, but you can use quilts, old clothing, whatever it takes to fill this void where you're making sure that there's going to be pressure pushed down on it once you put this board in here like this. You're gonna put this board in here like this and you're gonna push down on it and then you're gonna install the other board on this side. And then what you're gonna have is all your padding underneath this board pushing on that seat.
Okay, you can see I've got my cavity filled uh, under a certain amount of pressure. I've got a board that'll hold all that down and I've got support boards to hold this board down. Now, you don't have to use the same stuff I use. You can use plywood pieces here. You can use single pieces of board here, but make sure whatever board you put across here are robust enough that you can sit on it. So, now this was something you could do that doesn't involve having a webbing and webbing stretcher and all that's just having some boards and a few screws and a screw gun and and possibly uh you know have be able to drill out the holes just have some scrap uh scrap lumber right now all i have to do is put my black bottom on it and this seat's going to set like brand new if you're doing multiple chairs i highly recommend that you use a firm two inch foam and you can find foams like that on the internet like at amazon You can see this seat has a lot more loft in it now, and it's gonna be quite a bit more comfortable. Let's try it out. Right, if you've got some dining chairs that are still looking really good, but they just sit horrible, and you need a solution for how to fix that seat, this is a way you can go in from underneath and fix that and tighten that seat up and make it much more comfortable and without the type of equipment I have to have here, like webbing stretchers and webbing and all that, you can just use boards and junk padding or whatever you can find to fill that cavity and tighten that seat up and make it last much longer. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And if you like this video, hit that thumbs up and hit that notification bell if you want to see more videos like this. Thanks.